The, one of the biggest advantages of brachytherapy is that it's very localized radiation, which limits the amount of side effects that one can, one can expect. However, the urethra or the bladder tube that comes from the bladder and runs out, runs right through the center of the prostate. So that gets the bulk of the radiation. And that's where the side effects would come from. The other thing to remember is that these radioactive seeds, depending on what seeds we use, um, take about 10 months to wear off. So it, it's, it's a slow cook. So the side effects that one can experience can be there for quite a few months. It's all related to um, radiation of the bladder tube or the u urethra. So that typically causes burning urination, um, urgency, getting up more at night, um, poor urinary flow. And we see that on average for about six months before it starts clearing. There's medication that helps. And I must say that I think 95% of patients cope well with the side effects. The late risks of, of, of the brachytherapy, and one has to remember that a risk is something that may happen, the side effects will mostly happen, but the risk of long-term complications is there as, with, as there is with any, with any of these treatments. The risk of in impotence after any form of radiation, specifically with brachytherapy, depends a lot on what the function of the, uh, of the function is before we do any treatment. It doesn't affect the nerve system, but it can affect blood flow in the long term. So if one starts off on the, on, on the back foot, it, it will probably get worse.